So at around 5.41 p.m., the noises outside stopped. So I'm going to make a video right now. I was thinking a lot about music and One Direction. They haven't made anything recently, but just like people were giving neck to the Jonas Brothers up until 09 and up until now people have been giving neck to Justin Bieber, but he's retiring. They've been giving neck to the hatred to One Direction. The issue with them is that they're probably like the most see-through boy band. You know how boy bands kind of like, they look through the camera's eyes and they basically formulate or make a formulaic song that's addressed to just about any generic girl possible. Basically, you trying to provide a fantasy for 15 year old girls and shit like that that this these five guys kind of want you it reminds me of a reverse harem anime but my issue with the band isn't really that because whatever my issue is with the fact that these were five guys that went to a whack-ass game show, X Factor, where a bunch of mediocre producers or singers and songwriters are critiquing them, judging them, but really half the time, a lot of these members, they say, oh, you don't have the talent, you're not good enough, uh, this isn't for you. And harsh criticism is good, yet it doesn't make for a decent producer. It makes for good TV, you're not a decent producer. I think a guy like Simon Cowell, who ironically doesn't do half the stuff, people call him a harsh critic, but compared to, let's say, a Britney Spears or Demi Lovato, he doesn't really go with the whole deterministic, this isn't for you kind of thing, he actually tries. And he's a British guy that was responsible for setting up a bunch of boy bands during the 90s when that was relevant. Yeah. I noticed with Simon Cowell that that's all he seems to do. He seems to just put a bunch of people of the same gender together, just like make them drop their initial style and produce this generic formulaic track. And you can see it when Emblem 3 or Emblem 5, they take the tune of One Direction, the same melody, and kind of make a tribute to that, even though their inception dates are highly identical. <sighs> the problem is that Simon Cowell is the Theodore Long of producing. From what I can tell, each of these five guys from One Direction all had their initial style that didn't really seem to do anything. They were kind of generic in their own ways. However, together, they're still kind of generic. They're drawing. That's kind of a good thing. That's a big deal. They even drew in terms of making a movie. I don't know about you, but these rock concert movies, like the Justin Bieber one, the Jonas Brothers one. Hell, even Metallica had this, which kind of, it's fitting in a way, but... It really, it's a good draw for a younger audience, where they'll like something like that, but... It's utterly redundant. And see, you're kind of taking these guys with no direction, and they'll work now, but this is something that's designed to last for a few years, maybe seven at tops, and you've already exhausted 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013, so your shelf life is already running thin.
And I'm not going to judge someone on that, but if you really are going to take these five guys and try to give them some style, you can slowly set it up. It's not going to make for good TV, but you can coach these guys. You can be a producer and a, have them featured with other artists on an individual basis and kind of bring out their style. Maybe stick them together in different groups. Or actually have them be in a band and actually showcasing the fact that they can play instruments and they can write songs and they can do certain things. That way they have a longer shelf life. Which is kind of what is needed at this point. Because... These are all young guys, and four years from now, you really don't want them to completely lose relevance. These aren't the boy bands of the past where it was kind of fruity, but they were a little bit more than just frat boys. Now, these guys, I don't see any testosterone in them. The fact that I'm younger than them, yet I have the facial hair that... That does concern me. I mean, got that one Arab nigga, one Irish nigga, two Irish guys actually, and two, I guess, two of the pretty people. The Anglo look, if I can even call it that. Anyway, so. My best summary is that the group itself, I've heard their songs. There's not a lot to really detest. I mean, musically, it isn't ear-piercing. It's rudimentary in a lot of chord progressions, R145, which put to shame a lot of the cliched chord progressions pop uses nowadays, because at least it's out of the 50s lean more to the 80s at least but this really isn't satisfactory to listen to and it's not supposed to be for someone that listens to let's say a lot of different stuff a lot of weird stuff I listen to a lot of rock and metal but within that there's a lot of diversity in the sounds and so, I could hear, even from my short avenue, some strange stuff that breaks the rudimentary stuff, but that's not what they're supposed to do. What they're supposed to do is essentially have this for the short term, and then they can all break out into singles, and become single artists, each with their own unique style. That has been showcased They've been trying so hard to make sure that each member showcases his individual personality, but so far, I can't really tell much other than the fact that that guy with the good hair likes kissing other boys, and one of them Arab niggas is really Arab, and the blonde guy is the kind of Irishy looking dude, the least attractive one of them. He's a bit of a crybaby, but other than that, their personalities haven't been really showcased that hard in their music. I can't tell their individual style. And that really does kind of annoy me from a Monday morning quarterback position, but I'm not a Monday morning quarterback right now. I'm, a, I'm thinking about the future. I'm thinking three steps ahead, and that's not something Simon Cow likes to do. Anyway, this is Mr. Marcus 7, and suck my dick.